Hi everyone, my name is Valerie Jamison and I'm running to be the next Academic Affairs Vice President with CalSER, Cal Students for an Equal Right and a Valid Education. So first and foremost, I know that one of the focuses of the current Office of the President is to implement an honor code system. And yes, I do believe that there has to be more of an emphasis put on the accountability of students to engage uh, honorably and respectively in regards to like academic integrity, but I also believe that within the context of the way that it was written and the way that we're looking at the honor system, I don't believe that it will be effective to, to implement currently. I know a lot of times in my personal classes and within syllabuses we already see that there are laid out like implementations in terms of like discussing and looking at what is academically integrable and what is a plagiarism, what are the like, other facets of the honor code system. And I believe that if we focused a lot more and scaled it back in terms of like holistic services, individuals would appeal the need to have to resort to some kind of plagiarism or resort to larger like facets of like engaging and having to like undergo like the high stress of being within our university setting and seeing that it is really difficult to be competitive. We must also make sure that we're being cognizant of what mental health services, physical education services, the cultural development curriculum can be implemented so we can also do it with our marginalized communities such as um, students who are in the disabled students program and other individuals who might be not who may not feel comfortable already by like, disclosing to their professors and other individuals that this is an issue that they're dealing with and might not feel the support within our larger university context to be able to voice their concerns and see that maybe that's the reason why like they are struggling in a class and don't necessarily know how to adequately be effective and might engage in, in cheating like those things are need to be fluidly talked about and those concerns are seen critical yeah. to our larger like, what is this what is the concept of the honor code like who is it impacting and how can we as an entire university work be more effective in having this larger discourse before we engage in just a, a larger deeper trap <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you about my intelligence. 
We are a public university, and what does that mean? What's the difference between us and Stanford? It means that we have a contract with the public people of this nation to generate hard scientific fact, hard exploration into the truths of humanity, and generate that public wisdom and publish it for the good of all. If the students who come here violate that, why are they violating that? What is what is the reason? You you want me to sign some contract? Does that does that really do anything? Tell me, have any of you ever been in a physics majors course? Do you do you know the level of cheating that goes on? The, the level of warning for all these students. The issue here is not signing or not signing in one line. The issue is giving agency to the students to make them realize who they are and where they stand and most importantly, why they're here. And I intend to do that by representing science majors and academia as it should be represented. Thank you. So currently, the Academic Affairs Vice President Office offers grants to students so that students can take on other projects if they do not receive funding from the Senate Contingency Fund. I believe that as AVP, our job is to increase the academic experience, really, really revive the academic experience that students feel on this campus. As AVP, I will revive, I will create an entrepreneurial grant in order, to, in order for students to really put their ideas into action. I, I really believe in action, and I, I think that by, by creating this grant for students, it will give students the opportunity that they do not usually have as a student, give students the opportunity to get, get funds in order to start their business, start their idea, and really implement it in order to make, in order to give like, these students the opportunity to survive and really become real professionals in their field. This is a entrepreneurial grant that gives students the experience. It gives students the, the access to resources that they might not have. And by doing so, we are giving students more, more and more just opportunities to succeed and create their own academic experience here at Cal. We also have a problem with grant transparency. There's a problem with, we, there's a problem with people applying to grants and not knowing why they were rejected and not knowing why they were accepted for the grant. As AVP, I will really increase the transparency, have an intern go and ex thoroughly explain to these the, the people that are accepting the grants or that are being denied the grants with the reasons why they are being accepted or denied. There has been a problem this past, uh, this past semester with grant transparency, and by increasing the transparency of the grant process, more students know exactly why they didn't, did or didn't get it, and I will personally help them find reasons and obviously it help them find sources of funding in order to help them up their career, get their get that academic experience up. Thank you. 
than just Okay, as a last resort, what am I going to do? No. There's no reason to settle with this. And we need to do things like get BP off of our campus. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 